So right now you should see something like so. Like so. It's gonna say activate Mac. You do need Wi-Fi for this. So if you can't click on next, it's because you're not connected to Wi-Fi. So on the top right hand side, you will see that Wi-Fi signal. Just make sure you're hooked up. If that doesn't work for any reason, then you should go on and uh, use an ethernet cable. So we're gonna go on and just hook it up. I'm gonna press on join. And only once your Wi-Fi is working on your Mac and it's connected, you're gonna be able to activate it. Without that, you won't be able to, you do need internet. There are other ways, yes, without internet, but then you need a USB stick or something like that and activate it through there. But that's just more difficult. Right now we're gonna go into, your Mac is activated, perfect. So we can go to exit to recovery. And then from here, all we have to do is just reinstall the Mac OS. And you should do this whether you're selling this or you're just returning it back to the store. You should do this once again. Do this if you wanna go on and delete everything. Well, technically we already deleted everything from within the Mac. Right now we're just finishing up with the whole process. So at this point, it's just installing the Mac OS. Uh, to set up the installation Mac OS, click on continue. So we're gonna go on and click on continue. Once it lets us, we have to agree to this. Select the HD, continue, continue, and just let it do its thing. For most of you, this will take just a couple of minutes. Some of you with older Macs, it could take a lot longer. Again, with older Macs, Intel Macs, this process would be the exact same thing. It's only, the only difference is at the start where you turn off your Mac and you turn it back on, you would be holding on to Command R on your keyboard until you see all the options. Other than that, with these newer Macs, the M1, M2, and 3s then it's a little bit easier just because you have to press down the power key until you get to those options. Within the Mac OS, I did mention that you could run uh, this uh, factory reset However, it just becomes a little bit complicated because uh, people get confused about what's going on after it's done. But if you follow this video, it's a lot more straightforward and uh, it's just easier. I also wanna note that during this process, you do not want your Mac to turn off at any point in time. So if this is a MacBook, make sure it's hooked up to some electricity. So go on and hook it up. Uh, it doesn't matter if your battery is 100%, have it charging. If it's a Mac mini or anything like that, don't worry about it, just don't let it turn off. Your screen it's, itself might turn off, but if you just touch the trackpad, you should see this up again. So after a few minutes, you should see your Mac just restarting, Apple logo, and a loading bar. All right, and then you should see this. That means you're done. You can go on and set it up again, or if you're returning it, uh, you guys can go on and just shut it down. To force shut it down, hold on to the power key and you guys will see that it turns off. So complete black screen. There you go. And we are done with the factory set. And that's how you guys can do this. And these would be the exact same steps regardless which Mac you guys have. As far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.